In this tutorial video, we're going to see how the SOS Vulnerability Scanner works. The SOS Vulnerability Scanner was a tool that we designed to help customers, be they home users or businesses, really understand just how much data they had that could potentially be at risk if they suffered a data loss incident. The statistics on data loss are scary. Did you know a hard disk fails every 15 seconds and 2,000 laptops are stolen or lost every day? 32% of data loss is caused by accidental deletion, and 70% of small businesses that experience a major data loss go out of business. So it's crucial that you understand just what your exposure could be. To get the SOS vulnerability scanner, it's simple. We can go straight to the SOS website and download it from sosonlinebackup.com forward slash scan. Here I am using the Google Chrome browser. The vulnerability scanner is a simple to access download straight off our website. So I click here to download the SOS vulnerability scanner. It's a very small application and it can be downloaded rapidly. As soon as I run the vulnerability scanner, I get this very simple interface that you can see on the screen. The vulnerability scanner analyzes the computer that it's being run on and searches for content rapidly, dividing its reporting into these four categories of documents, images, music, and video. To run the vulnerability scanner, I simply click Start down in the bottom left-hand corner, and it will begin processing the master file table of my hard disk drive in a rapid scan that we've developed to very quickly give you an analysis of the data on this PC. You can see the vulnerability scanner quickly analyzing this particular computer and counting up the various file types in these different content categories. We've designed the vulnerability scanner to try and execute in less than a minute. Now that the vulnerability scanner has finished its analysis, it presents a report which gives me a comprehensive understanding of the data that this scanner has found on this particular PC. And you can see that I have a lot. The scanner has found 46,265 files and just a little over 85 gigabytes worth of data to be protected. And it breaks that out into these different content categories. So you can see I have nearly 50 gigabytes worth of documents. If I want to see the particular file types that the scanner has used in its analysis, I can actually roll over and hover on this question mark and have that the scanner will then pop up the different file types that have been included in its analysis. So you can see here as I roll over this particular question mark for images, it searches JPEGs and, and various other file types. If I want more detailed reporting, I can, I can click on this double arrow here to the right to get the details of what the vulnerability scanner has found. This view can then be sorted by file name, path, type, for a scroll over by file size. I can sort that simply by single clicking on the different column header elements. So now we've seen how to access, download, run, and understand the reporting that the vulnerability scanner gives to you. I really would just like to highlight what an important tool the SOS Vulnerability Scanner is for all of SOS's customer types, whether you be a user at home seeking to understand what content you have on your PC and where it's located and what its type is, a business to understand just what risk are you exposed to in terms of data loss in your business, or a reseller using this to help your customers understand what their potential exposure is. It's an excellent free tool and just one more way that we strive to help our customers here at SOS.